Question 15 asks, a ball is thrown vertically upward with a speed of 10 meters per second. How high does it rise? How long does it take to reach the highest point? How long does the ball take to hit the ground after it reaches the, its highest point? And what is the velocity when it returns to the level from which it started? Okay, so it says that a ball is thrown up at 10 meters per second. So we know the initial velocity is 10 meters per second. We also know that the acceleration is implied. Acceleration is implied as uh, negative 9.8 meters per second squared because that's how uh, the acceleration of gravity and the last thing we know is when a ball is thrown up at its highest point it stops for just a moment its velocity becomes zero and then it returns back down so at its highest point we know the VF the final velocity equals zero meters per second so with that, we need to figure out how high it goes. Um, the first thing we can do is uh, we know that average acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time. So the final velocity was zero. The initial velocity is um, is 10 meters per second and the acceleration the average acceleration is going to equal the instantaneous acceleration along a straight curve so because it was thrown and it was freely moving we know that the inst the acceleration remained constant so is 9.8 meters per second squared all right, so now we just need to solve for time. So how do we do that? We take the final velocity minus the initial velocity and divide it by acceleration equals time. So we have 10 meters per second divided by 9.8 meters per second squared, and that gives us the time till it reached the highest point. That time is t equals 1.02 seconds. So now with the time, uh, which is the answer to part, question B, that with the time we can go back and we can find out the distance or the displacement because we know that um, acceleration, uh, one half of acceleration times time squared equals displacement. And so the, the acceleration is, um, we can say 9.8 meters per second squared. I'm not gonna write it because my uh, my iPad sucks for writing uh, neatly, times the time, which is 1.02 squared divided by 2 is going to equal my change of x. When you work that out in a calculator, change of x equals 5.1 meters. So uh, that's the answer to part A, 5.1 meters is how high it went. It took 1.02 seconds to get there. Now the rest of these we can kind of just, uh, the last two parts of the uh, questions, we can kind of um, just think about them and come up with the right answer. It says, how long does it does the ball take to hit the ground after it reaches its highest point? So if it is, uh, it reach, it goes up at a constant velocity, once it hits the zero uh, velocity, it will go down at the same v uh, velocity and it will end up taking the exact same amount of time to go up as it did to come back down because the uh, acceleration doesn't change. The velocity becomes um, equal but with opposite magnitude. So if it started off at 10 meters per second, it's going to end at negative 10 meters per second. If it hits zero up here, it's going to be, you know, it's starting at zero on the way down. So the initial velocity and the final velocity just get flipped around so they become a negative sign. Um, the other thing is, uh, so it, the question is how long does it take the ball to hit the ground? Well it takes the ball exactly the same amount of time to fall back down as it did to go back up. It took 1.02 seconds to go up so it's going to take 1.02 seconds to fall back down. And then the, it asks what is the velocity when it returns to the level from which it started? 
like I said, if it starts at a, at 10 meters per second on its way up, by the time it gets back down to where it started, it will be at 10 meters per second again because the acceleration is constant and it reaches a point to they, they when the acceleration uh, is going in the opposite direction as the velocity the the instantaneous velocity from the start then this is what you'll have so um, if a car is uh, spinning its wheels backwards while sliding forwards by the time it stops and slows down if acceleration remains the same it will be going the same speed backwards when it gets back to that original point so that's kind of the same idea. So it will be going negative uh, 10 meters per second. Uh, so I, I guess um, when I plug this into um, the web assign, uh, and it, it took a positive number. Um, I think the negative number is probably more correct. It liked the positive number, um, so you can uh, decide what you want to do there, but uh, negative 10 meters per second is probably more correct.